Um, hi, my name's uh, Gary Elgier. I'm the uh, owner of Riverside Flying Tackle in Fort Quillen and a local guide as well, too. Um, today I look around here and I see a lot of people that are, I think, pretty much have the same feeling as I do. Um, this is absolutely disgusting of what you people are proposing to do. Um, first of all, this is not your river to come. Don't screw around with This is ours. This is everybody's here. Hear you and, and then we, um, you came and talked last time. Um, I haven't cried since my grandfather passed away, and I, I got really teary eyed just to think of, you know, I ain't no granola, I'm, I'm not an environmentalist, um, but I am very passionate about the rivers and what our government is doing, um, including you, you people as well, too, that are sitting there um, looking at me right now. I think you guys are safe. <laughs> Um, I was going to read something here that I have three minutes. Thank you. Um, and first of all, I think you're supposed to be neutral, correct? Okay. I'm doing a good job of it so far. So I'd like to stay neutral, please. No problem. Thank you. I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets a chance. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll have my chance, same as everybody else here, because this is our work. Um, so first of all, I'm very concerned on how our rivers can be given away to private hydropower projects. These rivers are not theirs to be given to them. These rivers are public, not private, for profit power producers. I encourage everybody here um, to take a stand and not just say, oh well, what can you do? There's something we can do. We can write our premier, first of all, let him know. Uh, we need to email him, we need to fax him, we need to give him as much information. We need to lobby everybody. Um, I'm going to be at the Tradex this year. Um, I have a booth, but really, honestly, that booth is going to be lobbying against you people. <laughs> people come from all over the world to come see me and take them to fish. I love to fish. And, um, I don't want to see this river go away just because you people want to make a buck. Um, first of all, I want uh, everybody here, I want to challenge all of you to do what I do. Every person that comes into my shop gets notice of what's happening. It's not about buying tackle right now. It's all about letting what's happening here, what these people are going to do, and what you people are letting happen as well, too. I don't like the finger point. I know you guys have taken all your power are taken away. I'm sure you guys are good people, but you know, do something about it. Just don't sit there and let this happen. First of all, I want everybody here to tell the premier, to tell um, our environment minister that's not here again as well too. Um, no, not here, not in my backyard. Um, take action now, there's a new era. Our forefathers have let things go. Um, don't be the ones to let this happen. I don't want to tell my children, hey, I remember when the upper pit was this and it was that. Let's show our children what the pit is and always will be. The pit's a beautiful piece of God's land. I'm not a very religious person, but when I think of God, I had a, a gentleman come from, I don't know, uh, I think he was from Missouri, and he wanted me to say grace at dinner, and I told him, you know, I'm not really into that, but, you know, this is my God's land here. This is my God. And he understood that. It didn't make me say grace, thank goodness. <laughs> but... Basically, this is, you know, it's a beautiful piece of God's land, void of private power projects. These tributaries are ours, not yours. I would like to know how someone can use the word green in such context. And how I can apply to be green? I think it's a trademark, am I correct? That you can apply for this? I don't know. How, how do you get the word green? How do you use green power? How do you, how do you get that? Yeah. You don't look like little lucky leprechauns to me. Well, 
There's no need. I'm sorry. I'm very passionate, and of course, no, we all are. I, 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 I apologize. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm not finished here. You can, you can sit there. Okay. Um, do you really think we're as stupid as you think we are? How can we destroy such a beautiful place for all to enjoy? All these people here enjoy the place. Um, I know there's other options as far as power, and I don't believe this power project is an option. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know you guys have given a lot of these examples, such as, I know um, I talked with some of your biologists here, we got a little bit heated. Um, of course, there's a couple things we do for Porkville, and that's where I'm from. And, um, you know, I don't do that anymore. But, I, you know, Gabe, you're, you're a great guy, and uh, I think you're a real smart guy, young, enthusiastic. But I think you're smarter than this. I think you, and you know you are as well, too. When we talk, he, he's like, mm, mm, mm. You know, I think you're a good guy, Gabe, and I think you have more to, you know. Um, first of all, about the brandy wine, you guys are always getting examples of the brandy wine and the brandy wine, but where the brandy wine is, there's no fish up on top of that waterfall. And you guys are making comparisons to the pit. And then brandy wine, how can you make any, a comparison of the two? I think they were just using the um, photographs to show people what the devices look like. Right, try to fool people. Thank you. <laughs> Um, they can comment for what I'm asking and I'd like to hear something. Yeah, um, what's your question? Yeah, what's your question? Why do you use brandy wine as an example? This is close to the pit. And I'll introduce you. Be a man, stand We use brandy wine as an example of an atypical project that would be similar to what we were proposing in. Uh, yeah, it's it's not very it's not very close. It's totally different. Maybe when you tell them, the capacity is the same. The size of the head ponds the same. The size of the powerhouses is very similar. Very compatible project. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say one other thing as well too. If everybody knows what Bill Thirty is. I, I uh, challenge everybody here to educate themselves on Bill 30 and what Bill 30 has done um, by taking some of our rights as citizens of British Columbia. Um, basically, this is opposing, um, you know, to give to give our resources away. It's basically what Bill 30 is. So I encourage everybody here to educate themselves um, regarding Bill 30 and, and fight these people. So I know I will.